IBD as Simulation Dashboard. Magic Model Analyst 2021X comes with great enhancements and features that improve simulation visualization, especially in an internal block definition diagram. Now you can display and manipulate simulation information directly in a diagram, which allows you to use it as a simulation dashboard. In this video, you will learn how to use an IBD diagram in simulation. This is the flashing light sample from the simulation sample directory. Let's run the flashing light simulation configuration to see the simulation visualization. The names of active states are displayed not only in the simulation pane, but under part shapes as well. In addition, you can send a signal right from a diagram. To do this, click a part shape and select which signal you want to send. Information flowing through relationships is animated, so you can see what kind of information it is at a glance. Let's make the simulation even more visual by specifying images for states. To do this, drag an image that represents a particular state from your computer and drop it on a state element. Now let's run the flashing light simulation configuration again. Images that we have specified for states are displayed on corresponding part shapes during simulation. Let's enlarge the active state images. Open the Symbol Properties dialog and change the value of the Show Stereotype property to Shape Image. Another way to enlarge images is using the Show as Image button in the Diagram toolbar. Images specified for states are displayed on part shapes as well as on the Smart Manipulator that represents the next state. When you click it, the active state images change based on state changes. By the way, images specified using Image Switcher can also be displayed on part shapes during simulation. Let's open another sample called Transmission. You will find it in the simulation sample directory. Now start the simulation. As you can see, runtime values are shown in blue directly on part shapes. By default, only value names and runtime values are displayed. You can also modify different types of runtime values like enumeration, Boolean, and input. Even if a part property does not display a value compartment, you can still see runtime values directly in a diagram. Just hover the mouse pointer over a part shape, and runtime values will appear in a tooltip. In addition, Runtime values on part shapes are highlighted in green or red when the automated requirements verification is performed. By the way, you can disable or enable simulation visualization features such as displaying active states or runtime values on part shapes, either for a simulation configuration or for the whole project. Thank you for watching.